Hi, my name's Connor, and today I'm going to teach you about golf cart safety to keep you safe during your day on the links. So first thing you want to do when you get to your cart is get acclimated to it, to it okay? You really want to get to know it, you know? That way you'll feel safe when you're riding around on the cart, on the course. First thing you want to do is make sure your bag is securely strapped in. That way it won't be falling out and like injuring itself. You know, you don't want to be messing up your golf clubs. Second thing you want to do, you get in the cart, take out your key, put it in. Simple. Next you want to test your forward and reverse button. All right? You should be hearing that buzzing sound. That means that it's working. All right? Then you want to, you know, Make sure the parking brake is working, all right? You don't want the cart to be moving around when you're out hitting, hitting the ball, you know? Don't want, don't want to be losing it out, out there, you know? Before you get going, you want to make sure you're properly seated so that nobody has the risk of getting injured or falling off or, at, or what sorts. You know, you don't want to be going at 10 or 15 miles an hour in this bad boy and have someone falling off. That's just asking for a bad time. Come on, Austin, let's get in. No, no, that's wrong. No? No, I got it. no, no, that's also wrong. Sure? Yeah, I'm sure, man. Gotta have, gotta be seated right here. No, you're close. Come on, man. Sit down. Oh, there you go. So weird. And now we're good to go. When driving a golf cart, you gotta remember that it is a motor vehicle. So the driver must have a valid driver's license, should not be looking at their phone, and should definitely not be drinking, because that could cause for a DUI. So, you know, obviously you don't wanna get in trouble with the law, and that would really ruin your game of golf. Also, you wanna make sure that you're always obeying traffic laws, like yielding for pedestrians, stopping at stop signs, and other such forth things, you know? Remember, the car path is there for a reason, so use it. You don't want to be damaging the course by driving off the car path. So whenever you're going from shot to shot, follow the car path until you're about even with where your ball is, then just drive straight over to it, take your shot, then drive straight back. And if the car path only signs out, then you definitely have to stay on the car path. That means that the uh, grass is very wet and you could seriously damage the course if you're driving off the car path. When driving off the car path, you want to be very careful because you're on a golf course, which means there's hazards like trees, water, sand traps, and other such things. So you want to be very caref careful and keep your eyes open because you because if you flip or damage your cart at all, A, you're going to have to have someone come out there to help you out, which is going to be a really embarrassing call to the pro shop. And B, you don't want to have to be stuck with the financial damages to the cart because these, these guys aren't that cheap. All right, they're pretty expensive. So always be careful and keep your eyes open. Be mindful when driving the cart. All right, this is a very dangerous thing. So don't be doing anything like racing, drifting, making really sharp turns, or basically anything you wouldn't do in front of the clubhouse. All right, these aren't your, this isn't your cart. You're borrowing it, all right? You don't want to be in Austin out here and doing dumb stuff, you know? Look at him. Just don't, don't be like him, all right? Be safe. Now that you know how to properly use a golf course, you can go out and have a successful, safe day out on the golf course. And remember though, these, this is all for your own safety. You don't wanna be winding up looking like these jackasses. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>